revelación egipcia establece que cada espíritu tiene ese proceso de perfeccionamiento durante un ciclo cósmico. Un giro del sistema solar alrededor del sol central de la galaxia. Durante ese periodo de tiempo, 25.920 años, el planeta Tierra pasa por cada una de las 12 constelaciones de las estrellas que forman los 12 signos zodiacales en la bóveda celeste. Esto sucede para que el espíritu reciba las distintas energías, las distintas fuerzas de las estrellas durante 12 eras de 2160 años, 12 ciclos que producen distintos procesos y estados. Mientras sucede ese giro, el espíritu reencarna unas 700 veces en distintos cuerpos, lugares, tiempos, circunstancias, condiciones y personalidades. En esas vidas, asciende del primero al séptimo nivel de conciencia. subject to the true leader, Sanat Kumra. New Age Theosophist, Dane Rudhar, concedes that the leader of the masters, Sanat Kumra, is in fact Satan, according to the esotericists. Quote, Satan is an anagram for Sanat Kumra, who in the esoteric philosophy of India, is the Prometheon being who gave mankind the fire of self-conscious and independent individual self, unquote. John Michael Greer in the New Encyclopedia of the Occult notes, quote, Satan has a possible echo in Theosophic lore, where the Lord of the world, the spiritual ruler of the earth, and the head of the Great White Lodge is Sanat Kumara, a lord of the flame who descended to earth from Venus in a fiery chariot some six million years ago. Theosophy teaches that Satan or Lucifer is actually a divine being who saves humankind brings him consciousness. Many modern influential New Agers who are deceived by theosophy repeat the same theme. David Spangler admits that Lucifer is a being that New Agers honor 
and the light of Lucifer is the light of God. So indeed the Luciferian doctrine is fused into the New Age movement due to Theosophy. Along with this doctrine is the belief that because of Satan, man is now thinking, he will evolve, conquer the world, conquer nature, and become a god. In 1919, the Theosophist Alice Bailey was supposedly contacted by one of these ascended masters, known as the Tibetan, Dijwal Kul. From 1919 to 1949, Bailey would write 24 books, and according to her, she would do automatic writing, a new age way of channeling and letting the force write for you. Bailey would create Lucifer Publishing, which would distribute the works of Helena Blavatsky and the Theosophical Society. She would later change the name to Lucius Trust because Lucifer Publishing was too controversial. Lucius Trust evolved into a large New Age organization, and it is still active today. Lucius Trust is also directly associated with the United Nations. According to the United Nations International Geneva Yearbook 2009, quote, the Lucius Trust is recognized by the United Nations as a non-governmental organization and is represented at regular briefing sessions at UN headquarters. The Lucius Trust is on the roster of the United Nations Economic and Social Council. Thus, Theosophy and the New Age are now fused into the United Nations, which gives a medium for the New Age agenda. The aim of corrupt organizations like Lucius Trust and the UN is to create a one-world government, New World Order which is in accord with the supposed Age of Aquarius. who are unfamiliar, in 2007, a man named Peter Joseph released a film called Zeitgeist. This film received millions of views on the internet and became very popular. Then in 2008, Zeitgeist Addendum, the sequel came out. From there, Peter Joseph established the Zeitgeist movement. The first Zeitgeist film was divided into three sections. The second section was about 9-11 being an inside job. The third section was about the corruption of the Federal Reserve. I have no real issue with the last two sections. The first section of the film is what I have an issue with. Contained in this section is the modern belief system of the New Age movement, the Theosophical Society, and Freemasonry. It becomes quite clear that this film and movement, which has captivated so many truth seekers, is nothing more than the externalization of Theosophy, Freemasonry, and the New Age to the public. This is important because if it turns out that Zeitgeist is leading people into Theosophical and Freemasonic ideologies, it means that rather than standing against the New World Order, One World Government agenda, like the anti-New World Order movement is supposed to be doing, truth seekers are actually associating themselves 
with ideologies and organizations that are connected to the New World Order. Zeitgeist appealed to Acharya S. for this theory. These claims can be found in her book, The Christ Conspiracy. Interestingly, it was the founder of Theosophy, Helena Blavatsky, and the Marxist Theosophist, Annie Besant, who popularized these types of arguments and inserted them into the New Age movement. The three things that Zeitgeist adopts from Theosophy and Freemasonry with respect to theology are 1. The belief that the story of Jesus was copied from other religions. 2. That Jesus is a representation of the Son. And 3. That Jesus ushered in the age of Pisces. Thank you.